Hey everyone, Karan here from Life Accounting, where we help you save on taxes and increase your wealth. And if you haven't noticed, IRS scams are completely out of control with victims losing millions of dollars per year due to the fraud. So in this video, I want to help keep you safe by looking at the top 10 IRS scams to watch out for, how to protect yourself and how to report a scam. Let's dive right in. In most cases, IRS scams will fall into one of four categories. Personal information scams such as phishing, ransomware, and phone phishing, where fraudsters send fake emails to steal identities. Then there's pandemic-related scams like economic impact payment theft. And then there's unsuspecting victim scams using fake charities and senior immigration fraud and scams that persuade taxpayers into bogus investments, such as offer and compromise mills and syndicated conservation easements. But enough talking, let's look at the top 10 scams in more detail. First on the list, our signature is not needed on your tax return. If you have someone prepare your tax return, they are legally required to have a valid prepared tax identification number or PTIN. And paid preparers must sign and include their PTIN on the return. A preparer that refuses to sign your return is a huge red flag and a sign of someone called a ghost preparer, AKA someone who charges you with the promise of a huge refund, but will take all of your money and run. This is the Bureau of Tax Enforcement and your assets will be frozen. Okay, first thing, there is no such thing as the Bureau of Tax Enforcement. And those who receive a letter from this fake agency are often told that their assets will be frozen if they do not pay a past due amount. Your tax refund has been recalculated. Please complete this form. This type of email can often appear like an official email from the IRS. Professional scammers will use the official IRS logo and the email itself will be designed well. A link will be provided for you to input your social security number, your birthday, your driver's license, and other confidential information to claim your new refund. Your identity has been stolen. Here's a fact for you. The rise of identity theft is a large reason why refund checks have been delayed. But if someone calls you to let you know your identity has been stolen, 10 times out of 10, they are the ones trying to steal it. Scammers will typically ask for sensitive information to verify your identity, such as your social security number, that they can later use to steal your identity or sell your information to other scammers. We need a copy of Forms W-2 for all employees. In this scam, criminals identify high-ranking employees of a business and then pose as executives via emails to payroll personnel. Then they're gonna request copies of forms W-2 for all your employees. The form W-2 contains the employee's name, address, social security number, and withholdings. And criminal use that information to file fraudulent tax returns or they post it for sale on the dark net. This is the taxpayer advocate service and you are in need of assistance. Unlike most fake organizations that scammers use, when calling or emailing you, the Taxpayer Advocate Service is a real organization that works with the IRS to help taxpayers solve problems with the IRS and recommends changes to prevent them. But what I want you to know is that though real, the Taxpayer Advocate Service will never call you or reach out to you first. So in this scam, criminals will use a phone number that appears to be coming from official headquarters of the Taxpayer Advocate Service and will let you know that you have a large refund waiting for you. And all you have to do to claim it is give them a few pieces of information like your birth date and social security number. Use this link to see your tax transcript. Victims often receive an email containing a link to view their tax transcript. Tax transcripts are a real thing provided by the IRS so that you can view a summary of your previously submitted tax return but the IRS will never email you first. You can get a copy of your tax transcripts for free by visiting the website for the IRS. Pay a small fee to receive your refund or stimulus check. Now, this scam has been growing in popularity due to the pandemic 
While you may be entitled to a refund check or a stimulus check, you will never have to pay a fee to receive or request it. Call us back or else. Scammers have gotten very sophisticated and can now make phone calls appear that they are coming from legitimate sources, such as the IRS, the FBI, or even your local police department. Government agencies, including the IRS, will not leave you a voicemail to get in contact with you, especially one that is intimidating in nature. Additionally, remember that the IRS does not have the ability to revoke your driver's license, your business license, or your immigration status. Use this link to view your tax refund. With thousands of delays in tax refunds, this scam is also becoming more popular. In this scam, an email is sent with a link to a near identical site for the IRS. And while on this fake site, you'll be asked for private information, such as your social security number, to view the status of your refund, but never click on an email to view your refund status. Instead, use the official IRS website or app to view the status of your refund. Now, here are nine red flags to look out for to protect yourself from being scammed. First, they call you first. You see, the IRS will always send an official notice and rarely call. They email you first. The IRS does not initiate email communication unless you have requested something from their official site such as a tax transcript. If you receive an email that appears from the IRS, always check that the email is from irs.gov and no other variation such as .com. They text you first. The IRS will never request sensitive information from you via text message. They leave a pre-recorded voicemail. The IRS does not leave pre-recorded voicemails and definitely does not leave voicemails that are threatening in nature. They ask for payment information over the phone. The IRS will never ask for card information or payment of any kind over the phone. They want you to pay with a gift card. Look, the IRS does not allow payment via gift card under any circumstances. They can't present official identification. A legitimate IRS agent will have two forms of identification, a pocket commission and an HSPD-12 card. Always ask for these credentials and verify the information presented by calling the IRS. They contact you via social media. The IRS does not communicate with taxpayers over social media accounts. They use intimidation tactics. The IRS will always, always allow you to appeal or question the amount you owe. If you are not given this chance or being coerced via force or intimidation, it's likely a scam. Note that there are rare circumstances where the IRS will call or visit you, but this is typically only after several letters have been sent regarding the issue. If you receive a call or visit from someone claiming to be from the IRS, always call the IRS first using an official number from the IRS to confirm the issue presented to you. If you want to report an IRS scam, here's what you need to do. Report the scam to the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration. You can report IRS scams online or by calling 1-800-366-4484. Forward any email messages that claim to be from the IRS to phishing at irs.gov. Do not open any attachments or click on any links inside the emails. Or you could tell the Federal Trade Commission via the FTC Complaint Assistant or ftc.gov website and report social security administration phone and posture scams using the form on the social security administration's website i'm going to place a few videos on the screen i think you should watch next be sure to check them out also if you found this video helpful do me a favor and hit that like button for me it helps others to find this video on youtube and subscribe to the channel for more information that helps you save on taxes and build your wealth. I'm Karan from Life Accounting, and I'll see you in the next video.